The state coroner has just made an order releasing the remains of Daniel Morecambe to funeral directors. It means Bruce and Denise Morecambe can now bury their son after the man accused of killing him agreed to the release. Tegan George was in court. Almost nine years after they last saw their son, Bruce and Denise Morecambe can now bring their boy home. Daniel's remains were discovered 467 days ago. Uh, he's been not in the family's uh, unit uh, for 3,280 days. Defence lawyer Michael Bosher this morning interrupted proceedings to say he'd received instructions from his client, Brett Peter Cowan, advising he no longer required Daniel's remains to be held by authorities. Wayne Jack's instructions were that he didn't um, see any benefit in having those remains further examined. The Morecams have appealed endlessly for their son's remains to be released so they can lay him to rest. Well, I think we're the most patient people that, that you could ever imagine. And we sort of just have to just keep waiting and waiting. That's all you can do, really. Cowan made the decision soon after his defence team had finished cross-examining the last DNA expert due to give evidence during the hearing. Four witnesses also gave evidence claiming they saw a boy like Daniel in the days and weeks after his disappearance. One woman said she saw him at a bus stop in Southport the day after he went missing. Another sighting put him at a Tawong unit complex that same day. And another woman said she saw him near Townsville in January, struggling in the back of a panel van with a man who held a cloth over his face. The hearing continues tomorrow. Tegan George, 10 News.